What is going on ICO family? Welcome back to the ICO Investors channel. It's your boy George and I am so blessed to be here giving you this next project. We have a really cool project and the team behind this one have a huge vision of how to make it so much easier to manage your investments in crypto, your staking, everything above. But before I get into what it is, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I do this for educational purposes only so we can hang out. You get to see my beautiful face putting some really cool investments on your radar. The team love it. I love it. I hope you love it. Let's get in. So here we are, oracledao.finance. The links will be down below as always. We have at the top the workflow, the roadmap, become an ambassador. I will explain what these things do. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and all the other socials at the top. Now, one thing I want to really emphasize on is this big middle wording, right? A financial platform to facilitate a multitude of cryptocurrency investing. You really got to read that to understand what it is, okay? They want to change the way that we can manage our assets in the finance world, whether it's staking, yielding, anything, okay? It's a community-governed, yield-generating, deflationary protocol that is built for sustainability, growth in any market condition. Super, super cool. I've been really digging into the research on this. So has the team, and I like everything about it. I love that we're bringing this to you right now. You can try the test app there and join the Discord. Please do both. Definitely join the Discord. It is powered by Oasis. The KYC is by Obsidian. They've worked with many, many, many projects and many projects that we've talked about on the channel also. Ongoing audit is by Blue Box. Let's get straight into some real research. Here, what I'm going to do is talk to you about some really cool parts of the white paper, some parts I think you need to know before you do your own research. As I scroll down, I will skip to them so you don't have to watch me scroll in. Let's get straight through. So over on page 10, as you can see, we have, it is the increasing floor price and passive yield, okay? Above, you can see how the TAV cannot fall due to the market price fluctuations of ORFIs. The only case where TAV will reduce will be during stable coin reward distribution and unexpected losses from treasury investments. So you can see, since premium will always be kept positive, this will show that TAV will always increase, as you can see here with the graph. We have the TAV value constantly going up. It will never decrease as with bond sales, irrespective of the market conditions, okay? Now jumping over to the ecosystem, as you can see here, the creation. Oracle Finance is building an ecosystem of various platforms and services. It will be the boost, the overall utility of the ORFI token and generate passive yields for the treasury. The investors at stake will benefit from the incentives of all passive yield generations, as well as be able to take part in the ecosystem platform, such as the launch had. Jumping down to page 16, we have the Oracle Capital. So it says here, we believe that treasury owned funds should be put into good use for better capital efficiency and rewards for the entire ecosystem. What you want to do is when you get to this diagram here, okay, I'll zoom in if you can't see it very well. You want to go to what you're talking about, the yield farming. If you're researching the liquid token funds, the venture funds, or example, the NFT platform, which is, you know, my favorite and the launch pad, you want to follow the arrows across just like any other diagram. Okay. Going across profit inflow. Then it goes across to the treasury. Then we go from the outflow to the stable coin reward pool. So you start to get an idea of how the Oracle capital ecosystem is working. Okay. The profit inflow will go in. The outflow will go straight back to the venture funds liquid. Okay. The Oracle capital, same with the NFT platform, profit inflow, and then the outflow will be to the stable coin reward bonding will go in and then out through the outflow really really easy but get your head around that if you're diving into this research now i want to talk to you it's on page 21 about the profit distribution so the stable coin will be the main way in which the treasury distributes the coins okay that's usual with these kind of projects it's really cool how they're diagramming this out for you the white paper is so full of information please keep your head in this the distribution will happen monthly and based on the s o r f i holdings now the reward sniping so when you've got stable coin distributions they'll be done monthly the cycle is decided by the community and provides an opportunity for users bots to buy the tokens and stake just before the rebase cycle now after when they're unstaken they sell after receiving their rewards okay this practice would become a systematic loophole in the rewards distribution and adversely impact long-term stakers Therefore, to deal with reward sniping, we are implementing SORFI weighted time average stable coin distribution. So they have the system there for the anti reward sniping, okay? Because the reward sniping is a massive factor of what they're trying to cut down on here. It's really, really cool. So they are implementing the weighted time average stable coin distribution. Now, the reward calculations are below. Again, if you are not interested, if you're just taking our word for these and getting involved in this project, no problem. I do tell you, do your own research. If you want to dive into the white paper, these are the kind of things you need to be seeing. So the total rewards for a user 
are calculated in this cycle, as you can see, rewards equal. I'm not going to go through. I'm not a mathematician, but read that. Get your head around it. It makes a lot of sense once you've gone through the whole white paper, okay? It does represent the stablecoin reward in there. Now, I'm taking you over to this file, and again, the links will be down below to give you a bit more in-depth. I know some of you are probably watching this hoping it was going to be a bit more fun pictures, images like the usual ones, but I need to get this information across to you if you're going to start investing in this project, okay? So, the Oracle Finance, in a nutshell, you can read their full vision on what that is right there. Now, the benefits to this is multi-products and services, the ecosystem, the web-free products. We have the chain agnostics. Okay, that's a way to be compatible with different blockchains. That's probably my favorite aspect of this. Uncorrelated ecosystem, which generates revenue regardless of the market condition, as we saw in the white paper earlier. And the deflationary reward distribution will be deflationary and will not cause dilution of the floor price reduction as it's distributed directly from the profit. So it will not affect that floor price going down. Remember that chart that I was showing you? It's always going to go up. Now, the investments and streams. So you could do staking and bonding, the launch pad, NFT platform, venture funds, liquid token funds, and yield farming and liquidity mining. Go in them. If you don't know what any of them are, do your research because they are most of the main parts of what you should be investing in once you've gotten crypto. Crypto is not just buying crypto and leaving it. You can do that if that's your strategy, but you should be thinking about launching it, investing it into NFTs, using launch pads, bonding, yielding, things like that, okay? Mining is a huge one. That's what we're trying to get across to you to do. Now, the roadmap. We finished February. We're done. We finished March, and now we're into April. So, fair launch, mainnet live, launch pads, expanding team, partnerships with swaps and DAOs. Then we move on to May, which is yield aggressions, going live, the governance setup, NFT platform, and the future roadmap release. So, there will be more to come out. One of the greatest bits, if you follow me on this channel, you know I love talking about NFTs and token distribution. Now, let's have a look how they did it on here. So, we have the marketing and partnerships, 8%. The incentivization is only 2%, which is cool. The fair launch is a huge 50%. Big thumbs up for that. The team and advisors take 20%. The liquidity provider is 10%. And the community and private pre-sale is 10%. That's very interesting. The fair launch is 50%. I love that. The team and advisors, 20%. Okay, that is okay. Now, the utility, obviously the ORFI token, it has the following stake in, active government participation, loyalty in the finance ecosystem, and the reward distribution. And this is the DAO architecture, okay? The voting proposals, the voting engine, the voting power, and the execution. So read this as well after you've read the white paper and you should have all the knowledge you need to start getting involved in here. Now, the big one, the launch date is on April the 27th. So get that in your calendar. Make sure you've got time because that's when we're launching. Quickly to show you the Twitter we have at Oracle underscore finance. The links will be down below as always. Now you can get into the Discord this way if you need to. Only use trusted links. 4,151 followers and the only joined in January 2022. So really, really cool. You can see there's a few interactions on the Twitter for the amount of followers they have. This is the dates. Like I said, you can see the launch 27th of April. Really cool. The community pre-sales on the 5th. So as we go down, you start to get a lot of engagement from other projects. That's really cool. Give them a follow. Tell them you're from our channel. Tell them George sent you here and he's excited. Okay, it's the next generation of decentralized finance. Super, super excited. So that's what we've got for you. I'm super excited. I think it's great that we can bring you projects like this before launch. I watch a lot of influence. I watch a lot of YouTube channels and there's some great ones. And there's some ones that jump on the bandwagon once the hype started going up. We are really not doing that on this channel. We are finding things well in advance, okay? Getting them on your radar. And if you're willing to get them on your radar and get in early, I'm pretty confident with my educational opinion, not financial advice, that we can make some good money doing this. So, that being said, give me a like, get subscribed, and hit that bell if you want to get notified when I'm ready to go again, okay? Let's get this. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.